John Jones got a neck tattoo. John reposted this to his Instagram story. It says, bless the tattoo a legend and humble man at Johnny Bones, appreciate you supporting me. John also fired back at complaints on X that he's fighting Stipe next. This user wrote, why do you think fighting a 40 plus year old firefighter will do anything for your legacy? John replied, yeah, screw the biggest fight of his life and all the money him and his family were supposed to make. Let's just bump him out of the way. Yeah, that's how life works. Ilya Taporia had a message for Max Holloway today. On X, Ilya wrote, congrats on your performance, Max. Respect your story and everything you achieved with a beautiful family. Hopefully, we're going to share the octagon before the end of the year. And trust me, you're going to feel something that you've never felt before. I will be the first one to take your lights out. Brian Ortega reacted to Aljamain Sterling's call out over the weekend. Give me the next best guy. I mean, Holloway's fighting at 55 tonight, right? If he wins, he ain't coming back down. I, I just, it wouldn't make any sense for him. So then that will put Brian Ortega as number one. Give me the next best guy. I'll take Brian Ortega, respectfully. He's a guy, I, I never, I got to train with him one time. Same management. Um, you know, it's not, no, obviously, you know, bad blood or anything like that. It's just we're both trying to chase the same thing. It's not like he's my main training partner like Marab was. It's a completely different situation. Um, I beat a guy like him. I think I'm undeniable. What did you make of his last performance against Yair? I thought Brian looked like a dog. He got hurt, showed that he can turn the fight back quickly in his favors, and that's what he was able to do. He's gritty. He's not going to go away easy. He's got that Mexicano, that La Raza. You know, he's got that in his blood, and uh, it showed. Brian Ortega posted this to X. He wrote, I'm aware of the call outs and the options. It's time for my manager to do his thing. Alex Bejeda says that his post-fight celebration was the least he could do for Jamal Hill after he disrespected him during fight week. And then you have the knockout, um, and there was the, the meme celebration there. Um, that felt a little bit emotional, maybe a little bit personal. What was uh, the, the genesis behind the, the meme there? Mas ele me desrespeitou e foi o mínimo que eu podia fazer. Well, uh, like I spoke with my team before, that I, I went to fight five rounds, but if the knockout would have happened, that was what I was going to do. He behaved not too good. He started with respect for during the week, and then he did what he did to, during the press conference and the weighing. So, that honestly, the least that I could do was just that to him. Max Holloway says he wants to fight Alexander Volkanovsky again. I ever get that title back, Volk stayed around. I want to fight him one more time, brother. I'm gonna keep knocking on, knocking on that door until I get my one, you know? <laughs> well, I remember when you, lo you lost the third fight to him, you said, I'm just gonna be undeniable, I think was your word. Undeniable. And here you are today. Essentially, if you get one fight, one win, you could make that happen. Does it feel good to know that despite everyone saying that you can't really do something, that, that door's closed, you can open it yourself? Uh, bro, be undeniable, be undeniable, you know? Uh, I see a lot of guys fighting certain people being like, I deserve this, I deserve that. I'm like, nah, man, you know, I, I'm, I'm not, not fighting contenders. See, if I wasn't fighting contenders, then I can see why you guys all be like, Max shouldn't deserve it. I'm fighting every contender. You know what I mean? Every contender is coming through me. At, at one point, except for Ilya. You know, Ilya just jumped the line. So at the end of the day, it is what it is, you know? Uh, you want to be great in the sport? Fight the best people. Fight the people who you, you got to take chances in the sport to make a name. And uh, I was just happy that, you know, I took the right chance. Dana White reveals that Alex Bejeda fought Jamal Hill with a broken toe. Dana also had some harsh words for the PFL. The other thing, I don't know if you guys don't know this yet, but, but I'll tell you, he, I just found out when I went up in the octagon because I saw him messing around with his foot. He broke his toe two weeks ago, and uh, he fought tonight with a broken toe. I thought he broke his toe in the fight, and his team's like, no, he broke his fight two weeks ago, and he's like, yeah, I, I ain't losing this opportunity for a pinky toe. That's what he said. So um, props to him for that, too. Bellator has had uh, Hawaii events. Bellator can put on fight in the parking lot. <laughs> Dude, I can't even believe you just said that. PFL Ator could, you, you know PFL Ator was here on Friday. Did anybody know that? You're the media guys. I didn't know till Friday. They were selling tickets, buy two, get two free. I'm not busting on them, that's a fact. They put out a, a, a memo, buy two, get two free. You're having a bad week if those are the memos you're putting out. Hey, Dana. There were more people in my green room tonight than there were at the fight. Joe Rogan reflects on Max Holloway knocking out Justin Gaethje. Joe posted this to his Instagram story. He wrote, it was an honor to watch this live from 40 feet away. These two are warriors. Kudos to Justin Gaethje for even taking the fight and risking his belt. He's old school tough. And kudos to Max Holloway for risking his win and asking Justin to battle at the end, knowing it could have been him on the receiving end. Warriors. Israel Disonya posted his live reaction to Alex Pajeda KOing Jamal Hill. Alex 
Pajeda posted this to his Instagram today. He wrote it was an incredible night, but to get there and have a good performance, I went through many difficult moments in my preparation. I want to be able to always be motivating to all of you. So when you're going through hard times, you can use this as motivation, knowing that the objective is bigger than anything. No matter what others say or what they think, the important thing is what you want to achieve. Don't let anything take you away from your focus. Everything happens in the best way. Do good things and good things will happen to you and never give up on your dreams. I want to thank everyone who is cheering for me. Patty Pimblett posted his live reaction to Max Holloway knocking out Justin Gaethje. He's such a savage dog. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. That is one of the sickest knockouts I've ever seen in my life. Max Holloway, you legend. Oh my god, lad, he's getting 600 grand. Jamal Hill called out Yuri Prohaska. Jamal posted this to X. He wrote, I dared to be great against adversity and against a great challenge, and I came up short at the highest level in the world. I answered the call twice on short notice to fight for a championship that most will never fight for. On to the next. At Yuri, least final, make it happen. Jamal followed up with this. He wrote to the people that support me, I'm good. Don't let haters get to you. I'm winning in life. So having to eat a loss like a man is what it is. They will be quiet when the next man drops. Tom Aspinall ran into Alex Pajeda at the airport. Tom posted this to his TikTok. He wrote a bit awkward. And that's going to wrap it up for the news. Thanks for watching. For daily MMA news and content, subscribe to Full Mount MMA and click the bell icon to be notified when we post videos. Here are the three top comments from last video. The first one's from Nate Marks. It says, Max is everything Hamzat wishes he was. The second one says, Max has solidified the BMF belt being valid. Can't wait for more BMF fights. And the final one says, Strickland looks like Peter Griffin next to Costa. Those were the three top comments from last video. If you want to be featured in the next one, all you have to do is comment down below. And if you missed yesterday's news, click the video on screen right now to get caught up.